I'm just gonna kick right. We're just gonna. I'm just gonna kick right into it. Um, there's a new competitive list that you know. Well, not really new, but this is like it's featuring like the new bomber Tomax and how to properly utilize them. Like on his card, he can barrel roll, f barrel roll linked into red target lock into into focus and that's for triple actions and that's like the powerful thing about him and then obviously he has his uh i think it's plasma torpedoes and then the bombers got nerfed which means they can't afford their uh bomblet generator ion bombs are you know they can't afford a bomb and like barrage rockets hence why they're getting replaced by more than a fell bat so because they haven't been like touched at all because it's like pre load out. And how the, I think it's very much so possible to get value out of the boys, right? And then Marek Steel, the ability to choose what crit they get is pretty crazy. But you'll definitely see in this situation, this is a game I lost. Where like I just don't get any value from it. But we're versing the new Battle of Ender, was it B Wings? And you're going to see me just like absolutely. So you're gonna see me like get Iron Eyes or Darth Vader a, a bunch, and it's gonna be pain. But yeah, let's have a look. So I believe I'm so high initiative, right? My lowest is a five. I believe he plays all his ships except Hera, which is a six. And uh, yeah, my Apparently with this list, like you want to place Darth Vader, your last piece, wherever you think you're going to need the most help. So, yeah, what did I believe I need the most help? I thought I could just like, you know, four versus two this and just have Marek Steel just chill. So I'm going to show this up. So yeah, this is what kind of like the opening with Marek Steel, right? Where you can like uh, barrel roll left or right. So it's like free straight barrel roll. And you have to make sure that it's the lower portion of the barrel roll. So that when Darth Vader does a four straight, he will clear it. And then with the boys, like, they want to move fast, like four straight. You're going to see me like troll heavy with the boys. It's all Gucci. So here I have Afterburners, range one. We also saw um we saw them do a bank and if I can see you see, so we know exactly how fast these guys are gonna go, like one hundred percent. Like a two bank or something. We know exactly how fast these guys are going. So these guys have missiles, range two, range three. Now <clears throat> my mindset was like to try and dodge the ion bombs but you know it's the fun the funny thing about the B wings is that they shoot the bombs to the right of them so yeah and also on the card well, well on his loadout he's got thermal detonators he's gonna have like bombs shooting out right and left so this this guy has no threat right and also one thing I learned about the B wings well they get perma stress to do their like double actions and stuff so, yeah, here, here's also another like error. Let me see. I think I also missed this claim. So here's, here's another issue. So here I didn't want to bump Darth Vader, right? But like, in hindsight, Yeah, four, four straight, I think, is the fastest you can go with the bombers. But I think, yeah, the whole the whole concept with Darth Vader is that you move to the middle, you get some nice damage, and then you go for a point. You're not going to K turn. But yeah, you're going to see the pain. So here, here isn't that bad. Free bank. 
bow roll focus. I got the double action shit. Now, where I think I major messed up is that I want to shoot the the back one. Why? Because this guy can just do a free bank and just easily bump me to hell. And I think it's low low initiative as well, so he's always going to be able to do it. So I shouldn't have went for the further away one. Because if I get bumped, I'm still got my range one Darth Vader bullshit with mods and stuff. Notice I have bullseye and stuff as well. So just looking at... Now... <clears throat> Also, another thing I comment, I kind of completely abandoned with Marek Steel. I'm just like hard committing to this left side, which I don't know if I agree with completely. Like, if we look at this, if we look a bit back, so Marek Steel, too hard, free right. I think. I could have done like a, a one hard hit and cheeky try and get something going. So we haven't seen these guys move yet. Actually we have. Huh. Okay, they move forward. I mean logically I don't want to fight those guys. But the whole concept here is like you know, jousting happens and then Marek still comes to clean up, but they've actually got like four shields on him. And basically I kill one before Marek still even touches it. And then when Marek still actually comes here to to he's messing with a ship with like full shield, so he doesn't get any value out of his ability with crits and stuff. So yeah, my TIE fighter gets blown up. And you're gonna see the bumpage here is a big mistake, another big mistake. So already we've been bumped with Darth Vader. We didn't get in the middle objective turn two. But you know, I think I think the reason why that shit was painful maybe is this rock. But I don't know, maybe not. Huh. Uh, I think I think it's just the nature of the game. I need to I need to have a relook at the middle thing. I'll get back to it after this. But yeah, we've already been bumped with Darth Vader. This is doing like a one straight. Now here I barrel roll to get double actions right. To get my barrel roll, link it into a red target lock, get focus from spending two charges. But this one has proton cannons, so what does that mean? Bullseye, full dice, complete trolling by me. Complete trolling. Does do a bit of damage, actually. Actually, I'm not even sure. So here my mindset is to actually collect. But yeah, Darth Vader just missing out on tons of damage potential, man. And I'm pretty sure Tomex can reach this guy as well, so... It just goes to show, if I'm playing the middle, I want to target the one that cannot do a, you know, two bank, bump me type shit. But yeah. And here's Merrick Steel, man, not doing the greatest on planet Earth. I mean... I was thinking about like actually like how scared am I to actually do two straight or something like maybe if I just went as fast as possible no I think that's death as well <clears throat> like I don't think this play is that bad because Marek still is healthy in the late game as a thing so it's not even that terrible and obviously it's a numbers disadvantage so here thermal detonates to the left side man to the right so when you're versing B wings they shoot bombs to the right of them which is weird I haven't seen a B wing until this new like set came out battle of Endor man 
So now Marek Steele finally comes, man. Now imagine a situation where they just, they're breathing on the hole. If I get crits through, man, I'm going to get the most high value crits, but there's not much I can do. And look at that, man. One hot. One hard, uh, sorry, 4k, 4k into a, 4k into a, what do you call it, into ionized from like this guy's ion bomb, thermal detonators get, got off and they, these just stay until someone triggers them. So, yeah, Vader ionized, which means I don't get a target look, which means he's like possibly set up to get killed by this guys, but you know, it just shows the atomics in the middle though, I actually managed to ionize these guys twice with my bombs, which is nice, but you know what's funny, despite all this bullshit, the game is still hyper winnable, but, let's take a look, so, here, my TIE fight is in position to go from here, here, here. But look how I messed this up. So Darth Vader survives. So here's, here's a tricky one. And here my bomber gets bumped. Uh, no, my bomber goes into the rock. Which is just damn despicable. Yeah, I need to do like, I honestly needed to do like free bank. Let's see. Did I do a free bank? I tried to do a four straight. Let's have a look. Blah, blah, blah. Tom McSpan, free straight. Nope. I feel like I could have done free straight and then barrel roll and I would have been safe. Yeah, free straight barrel roll. Or hell, it four straight would have cleared, but I don't want to bump. Down. Yeah, free, free bank barrel roll clears it, man. So even from this messed up situation, I can still, I can still win. It's seven to ten. But if you have a look, I can come here, come here, come here. But the problem is, man, Darth Vader and Marek Steelman get killed in the same round, which is just game over. So here I, here I just. So here I have the fast initiative. You're going to see me troll like hell. I throw four points for no reason. So the si I can I can do a bow roll here and 100% not take any shots. But I'm actually going to get, he's actually going to bump me, roll three dice with no mods, get three hits, and Marek Steele is dead. So that's just like, when I'm literally got like the tie fight in position, there's no reason to make that play. And here I'm thinking about Darth Vader. So looking looking at our actual moves, right? What does this guy have? This guy has a one bank. Or he ha he has ignored the debris and just go over it and land. You're going to see him go over. All I had to do was like two. Is like a two. Two and then bow roll. Think about my position man. A two bank. But what do I do? I did like three. And it actually put like logically what else can he do right? If, if he actually 
if he goes like one bank like this, I go two, then I barrel roll, and then it's like I get, I think I get asteroid cover, and uh, thing. I get asteroid cover and uh, yeah. And then this guy is also covering with asteroids, with Vader with force and stuff, at least one force. And I think I even missed like a trigger like from like force. But as you can see, I'm about to get like swing for like three points. If Marek still doesn't diamond, I'm chilling. But no barrel roll, natural free hits, man. Because I didn't barrel roll. And here I try to like go a bit further away. Here I'm attacking a guy that's like full HP, which is worthless. And you know what's funny too? Damn. This guy hadn't even moved yet, man. What can this guy do? This guy cannot... These two are just going to bump, right? So all he can do is curve like this. And then this guy goes like this. And that's the logical only shit that can happen. And I'm just swinging for points to just run away the entire game. Like, I might lose Darth Vader, but the the free points could actually just save me. Because these guys, they're chasing Darth Vader or trying to kill him. And I have these free points, man. It would have been so nice. But, yeah. Those two players, man, good enough to lose the game. But yeah, that is that match. Okay, my second, you know, review against the uh, First Order. So, let's have a look. So, here we have, like, First Order, placing all our ships, Darth Vader's the piece where uh, you place according to, like, where it's going to get the most advantage slash damage, and I feel like, obviously, I feel like Darth Vader has a lot of potential here, why? Because it's two, it's four versus two, right? Which I think is probably winning. But I actually don't get to, uh, I don't get a decent enough shot. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a bit loose with the names. There's a first order ship, right, where it's like, uh, if you, if it has a token, it's forced to, to give a token to a different character. So... My Darth Vader here target locked this guy and was forced to move the target lock onto uh, Kylo Ren. And apparently like one of the bigger issues this match was not being able to get like a, a double round of shooting against Kylo. But we're going to see it. Fairly close game, man. Kylo lives with one HP, man, by the end of the match. Which is a, just a bit sad. So, here you have me going fast. I think this is a, this is another example of a. I feel like I should have afterburners here. Why? Puts me in range one. So and these guys have missiles. And also we know how fast they're going because what they banked right. And then it smoothly sets up a K turn. Like, I don't think there's going to be a situation where I do four straight, four straight. They're banking in. And I'm not, like, I should not, like, I should use after bonus, get the range one bonus. I mean, obviously, potential getting blown up, but hey, I don't have missiles, right? So, yeah. And these guys actually don't manage to kill the TIE fighters. They actually live, like, backstabber, get, yeah, more than Mephel gets one damage card. Despite both rounds of shooting, that's a free dice focus for you. 
And here I'm just a bit sad. I'm honestly a bit sad with this Tomax. Let's have a look at Tomax. And one thing's interesting too, like this we're both playing high initiative. The lowest initiative in this game is five, with one being a six. And you're gonna see him initiative kill one of my fives, which is a bit sad. My uh tie fire. Here here I think did I place it exactly? So here I place Tomax in the middle to give that option. But yeah. One thing for certain, like, I'm thinking, I feel like Darth Vader could have came in a bit more clutch, man. I got to see the scenario with, uh, with a, f you know, these two are in front of each other. I want to have Darth Vader free banking and this guy do full straight. So I'm just going to show that off quick. So, yeah, just imagine... So Tomax free bank gets enough room. I don't I don't think he actually gets I don't think he actually gets anything per se. I don't think he actually uh yeah, I don't think he he doesn't get into target lock range unfortunately because I got I run the initiative but yeah, four straight after burners. Darth Vader, and then a uh, free bank, barrel roll. Actually, I think free bank, barrel roll to the right. Just gonna see if that works. Hold on, let's see if that works. So just looking at this situation, like what could I have done? So an option is, let's see, free straight, and then free bank. Does that crash? Boom, free straight. And then let's see Darth Vader. So this this is a so absolutely solid way of doing things, right? He just does a free straight. Or hell, if I want to just go slower and make sure I line up short next time, I can do my stuff. Or another option could be this. Undo, undo. We could do free bank and then let's say we move free bank, we barrel roll to the left, then Darth Vader will obviously free bank and then he can do his craziness after burners, barrel roll. Uh, yeah, sorry, barrel roll. Spend two force. Two force for a target lock focus. So that's like that, like, so that's like four actions. Like, I feel like if I do like four, let's see if, if I'm going fast as hell. So let's undo. Undo. Oh, what about this one? This one's undo. This one's undo. Whoops. All right, we're going a bit too fast too. So, what's another option I wanted to try? I want to try something like four straight. Yeah, four straight. Get a bit closer. So let's try that four straight free bank. This way, like a hundred percent, I'm getting an arc, and I can most likely, you know, I think I'm honestly gonna boost into the rock. Unfortunately, if I'm having a look at my actual, 
Yeah, I will boost into the rock. It's probably just something like undo. So instead of lining that up, I just go one like straight. I probably don't even want it after burners. But actually, <laughs> yeah. By just showing off like the possible movements. But once again, theory crafting. So if I want to set up double shots with a, uh, with a, uh, you know, this guy, I feel like, I feel like honestly, I could have done, uh, hmm, I feel I could have done like free bank, barrel roll. Yeah, free bank barrel roll. He'll be in range. And the next turn, I can do something like one straight. Yeah, one straight. So this is this is my mindset, right? To maximize damage on Kyron. So this is four straight, bow, uh, four straight, four straight after burners, free bank, uh, free bank target lock. I think I'm gonna be uh probably free bank barrel roll target lock. Just to set things up. And then he can do something simple, which is just like free bank barrel roll, I think. I think that works. I think honestly <laughs> I think honestly Thomas is a setting up. So free bank barrel roll and then just free bank with Darth Vader. Sets me up nicely. <laughs> so yeah, he's gonna get extra evade dice, but still. But let's see how this actually plays out. So four straight. Once again, I don't think there's actually a situation where I'm doing where someone's moving like this, and I don't f just off the burners. Because like range one, he has missiles. I don't like it's yeah, it's my disadvantage because I didn't off the burners, and now I can't have a clean K turn. <laughs> Which I would have. Because, like, right, he can't really cleanly K turn here. And, like, Darth Vader and, and this guy is in the most worst position. Why? Because it's double four straight. So, Darth Vader should literally be looking at Kylo Ren right here. And so should, uh, so should, uh, Tom X. Would have been a nice, nice. Juicy plasma torpedoes on Tomax, but continuing on. Game's not lost yet. So here you see me running away with Marek Steel because I lose the I lose the engage. But here's here's an interesting thing. So I did um I did one straight free hard, which I think what I'm supposed to do here is like instantly do a harm because I'm just I just gave him action action. I was here and I'm only here. Like it's so bad. I think I immediately do a two hard bow roll and I just keep going like this at the edge of the board. Yeah, immediate two hard bow roll edge of the board would have made things extremely more difficult for this to kill. So continue on speed running this. So here. With Marek still, which is absolutely pitiful. I'm way too greedy for the points here, man. So here I do a five straight. And then here I'm not, not sure if I'm like in range, so I bow roll, which is just absolutely stupid as hell. Too greedy, man. This should he should literally be right here at this position, man. Too damn greedy. And like I said, after playing this cleanly, right, and getting double shots, so double K turn, Darth Vader's one straight in, like, Marek Steel cleans up, right? But here you got me pressuring the TIE fight with, Mar uh, with Darth Vader, which is cool. But even even despite getting lots of range one shots, the tie fight actually manages to live. Um, 
but yeah, like very sad situation. So a bomb happens, nothing goes off. Like very sad, Tomac situation, and this guy's just gonna range zero, so it's practically useless. But I got a nice, I got a nice thing going here. So here I actually managed to get a crit that makes his turns more difficult. So what does that mean? This guy is stressed. I mean that even if he does like a, a blue one hard, he can't like boost afterwards or something. So from here, if, if they're stressed and can't do anything, one straight will cover all options. Continuing on. So here was a, a decent issue. This situation. So you're going to see my positioning with this, these TIE Fighters and where they actually end up. Like this. So we need to actually have a look at that, right? So let's have a look at that now. So once again, let's remember the positioning. Yeah, we need to look at that. Alright, so actually looking at this situation. I did um I did a free free hard with this one uh after burners and free bank after burners and that's what put me in this situation. No free free bank and it lines in the same place. The only way th these guys are parallel it's as if one is uh, doing a barrel, but that's negative action. So the actual simple thing to do from this like look is to do double free hard. So let me show this. Boom. Afterburners. And then boom. Afterburners. Double focus. That puts me where I need to be. Both got actions, it's beautiful. Double free dice, rather than these guys behind. So double free hard when they look like that. Yeah, when they look like something like this. Like something like this, I'd say. If you want to get them parallel like that, you have to free double free hard. And then, I imagine if you somehow... That's the thing, with, with Afterburners and Barrel Roll, I'm sure you if you have enough space, you'll always be able to get uh, them parallel. But uh, moving on. Continuing on from the match. So, this guy gets, uh, these two guys get ionized, I think. But you're going to see Marek Steelman. Greed here, range one, Kylo, Ren, and this guy, like they all shoot me to death. And you're going to see a mistake here. So here from this angle, I have two bank barrel roll. Now I had, I had the focus right, but I didn't use it because I grew up greedy, but that was... That's extremely stupid, man. Like, when am I going to get another, like, ch ability to do that? I should have 100% took the focus. And then Kylo Ren Tala ro rolls and kills Tom X. And I, ro I rolled double eyes, which is this salt to the wound. But yeah, I've destroyed none of his ships, right? And I've only got my tie, my uh, my one health, my, no, my free health tie, and a full HP Darth Vader. But hell, if you have, even in this situation, you can actually try to win. Why? So here, I have the option of chasing this guy or going for seven points. Here, I opt for like uh, my tie fighter going for the chase, which works out for me. So here I actually, well Darth Vader, 
I rolled three hits, right, with mods and stuff. Kylo actually blanks out, man, and he's on one HP. So that could have been seven points in my pocket. And then here, free bank bower roll, crack shot lined up with backstabber. But unfortunately, I rolled no hits, man. So, if you actually, like, imagine, like, what's going on. It's like, we have, imagine Kylo Ren dies, and this guy dies, he's also 1 HP. That's a swing for 10 points. I am currently at 6. A swing for 10 points with a full HP Darth Vader, like, things could happen. And there's still a decent amount of time on the clock, like 4 minutes. But, uh, yeah. A bit of another brute force match analysis.